Before I start, I want to make it known I do not want to make fun or ridicule those who believe in the Earth being flat, as a lot of globalists do. I do admit I have been taught about the Earth being spherical, but I have had friends, co-workers, and colleagues inform me of the opposite of my global Earth belief. One co-worker explained I should open my mind to the flat Earth, and it should make more sense. However, it only created questions. I have studied astronomy for most of my life, and it was only lately when I first heard about the flat Earth in August 2015. Oh, oh yes, I have heard about the Earth being flat long before then, but as a child I had thought it was disproven when Magellan sailed around the world. In order for you to help me understand how the flat Earth works, I would like any flat earther to answer the following questions, but please don't send me any video or website links. Please answer the questions in your own words and email the answers to feanswers at gmail.com. I have posted these questions in the comments of several YouTube Flat Earth videos, but nobody has answered them as far as I know. At the end of this video, there is a bonus question challenge. If the Earth was flat, how come we can't see Polaris from Australia or the Southern Cross from the Northern 45th parallel? If you live near the 45th parallel, how come you can't see Venus or Mercury at midnight? Do the planets revolve around the Earth instead of the Sun? How big are the Sun and Moon? Orion is my favorite constellation, but I can't view it in the evening during the summer. Why? Where do meteors come from? What is the exact distance the Earth is from the Sun and Moon? What is known about solar wind? On May 9th, 2016, Mercury transitioned the Sun. Has this ever happened to the Moon? Are there any topographic maps of a flat Earth? If there are, how are they made? Does the Moon emit its own light? If so, how? What causes the phases of the moon? Does light have a speed? Why does the moon turn red during a lunar eclipse? I know that flat earth believers do not believe anything that NASA has to say. However, a solar eclipse was predicted in the USA for August 21st of 2017. When the eclipse happened, what covered the sun? Flat earth believers don't believe in the International Space Station, I understand. However, on July 17th, 2019, at 10.40 p.m. in the Pacific Northwest, I saw the predicted flyby of what is to be believed is the ISS. If it wasn't the ISS, then what was it? NASA says that the space station makes an orbit around the Earth every 93 minutes. 
What if it is NASA that started the flat earth theory to shroud people from the real truth that the earth is actually in another shape? In studying a flat earth map, the moon is shown to be always directly opposite from the sun. Is that always the case? Does the moon travel at a different speed than the sun to compensate for being able to view it during the day? Or is the moon always on the night side of the flat earth? How does the belt of Venus work? During a sunrise on a clear day, a tall mountain is always illuminated at the summit first before the base. How is this possible when the sun shines like a spotlight? As far as I have noticed, hurricane systems never cross the equator. How is this possible? Why do hurricanes in the northern hemisphere rotate counterclockwise and hurricanes, or cyclones, rotate clockwise in the southern? Are telescopes to be trusted? If not, what about the use of binoculars? If a pilot traveling from Buenos Aires to Perth takes the shortest route to fly, would he fly near the North Pole? Flat Earthers claim that we only see a CGI photo of a spherical Earth. How can we only see CGI photos of a flat Earth and never the real thing as well? Are there any Flat Earth believers south of the equator? What causes earthquakes? What causes volcanoes? Why do compasses work? If a flat earther interprets Isaiah 40.22 from the King James to mean that the earth is flat, then how is Job 39.9-10 through 10 interpreted? Here in the volcanic region of the Pacific Northwest are two volcanoes, Mount Hood of Oregon, at 11,239 feet, and Mount Adams of Washington at 12,276 feet. These two volcanoes are 58 miles apart, but if the two of them were placed next to each other, the summit of Mount Hood would be 1,037 feet short, only reaching just below Adams's Piker's Peak. Of course, everyone knows, globalists and flat earthers alike, that objects appear smaller the farther away it is. Everything below eye level appears to rise up to meet the eye level, while planes above eye level will appear to descend downward, as eye level will remain on a flat level plane. If a hiker climbs to the summit of Mount Hood and looks to Mount Adams using a theodolite or a bubble level, would he be looking straight into Mount Adams's Piker's Peak? Now, I admit I have never climbed to either mountain's summit before, so my challenge is, what would the hiker be looking at when he looks toward Mount Adams 
at a level plane of 0 0.000 degrees. Since the Earth is flat, then the hiker would be looking straight into Mount Adams. However, globalists would say the level plane would be 1,206 feet above the summit of Mount Adams, meaning you would be looking over the mountain if your spotting instrument was set at zero degrees level. According to globalist calculations, the level would have to be lowered to 0 0.2258 degrees in order to have Mount Adams' summit come into view. On the flat earth model, the level would have to be raised 0 0.194 degrees to view Adams' summit. Therefore, my challenge is, which one is correct? As I said before, I have never hiked to either mountain's summit, so I am curious to the conclusion of the correct calculation. Maybe what I displayed here isn't totally correct, so I am open for corrections. Neither am I a mathematician since I use the calculations from the website www.walter.bizlands.ch. So I am willing to hear what the conclusion would be. Since I have studied all my life about the spherical Earth, it seems a person wouldn't be able to see Mount Adams on a flat eye-level plane from Mount Hood. But... I can be proved wrong.